Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at this brand new Diamond Select Bruce Lee figure. And this is the second Bruce Lee figure that Diamond Select has come out with. Last year they came out with the Game of Death version of Bruce Lee, which is him in his yellow jumpsuit. This one here is basically Bruce Lee in his iconic look where he has his black pants and no shirt on. And... You know, that Game of Death Bruce Lee was a little disappointing. I thought the figure was okay, but it had some huge flaws that were like impossible to overlook. I was really hoping that they would fix some of those things with this one here, and it doesn't look like they did. These head sculpts do not look very good, much like that other figure, but we're going to get into all that in just a minute here. Let's go ahead and start this off by taking a look at the packaging. It's your typical Marvel Select type of packaging, which is huge and bulky. I'm not a huge fan of it. Look at all that wasted space, and it just seems like, it just seems, I don't know. I don't know why you they use this big, huge packaging. It just doesn't seem very smart to me. I wish they would use something smaller and more compact and just something more sensible. This is crazy. But it does look nice. It does say Bruce Lee over here. We get a shot of the man himself up here in the front. On the side, we get another shot of the legendary Bruce Lee. And then on the back, we get a look at the figure. Up here, there's a little biography about Bruce Lee. So that's kind of cool. And these shots look pretty good too. So that's it. The packaging does look nice, but it's just big and dumb in my opinion i really wish they'd go down to something smaller okay so here we have bruce lee right out of the packaging and to be completely honest with you right off the top i'm pretty disappointed with this guy there's very little to like about him and I feel like they could have done a lot better. And it really sucks because I wanted to like this figure, especially after I got the Game of Death version, because I feel like that figure had a lot of potential, but there was just some missteps that kept it from being a good figure. And I I was really hoping that they would have learned from that figure and applied what they learned to this figure, but they didn't. They just kind of did the same thing, which is crazy because that figure came out, what, like six months ago or something? And, you know, I that seems like enough time to like implement things that you've learned i don't know i mean i don't make toys so uh who knows but it really sucks that this figure is not an improvement at all basically all the problems that that other figure had this guy has the same stuff but you know like i said i was a little forgiving the first time around because i figured it was their first time maybe they'll get better but uh they did not this figure just feels like really really old if this would have came out like 15 years ago it probably would have been pretty cool but nowadays the standard is different and, um, you know, for figures at this price point, we're getting some amazing things from other companies like NECA, Hasbro, you know, even McFarlane at this point. There's a bunch of other companies doing toys in this scale, and they're doing much better than what we have right here. You know, this guy, I mean, they, this guy shouldn't have come out, to be honest with you. They probably should have just canceled it or something because... Um, I feel like it, it's a disappointment. And you know what's crazy about this is if you saw my review for the previous Bruce Lee figure, then you know that mine came with some pretty bad paint imperfections in the face. There was some really bad QC issues. And what's a trip is that this figure has some QC issues right on the face too. They aren't as bad, but right on the nose, there's some paint missing. Like what kind of shit is that? That is super crazy. So that's very disappointing. And, you know, I've seen this Bruce Lee figure in the stores and I noticed that there wasn't a bunch of paint imperfections all over the face or anything like that because I looked for it since I had that on my previous one but I didn't see that but on the ones that I have they both have paint imperfections and I will say this both this Bruce Lee and the previous one were review samples from Diamond I reached out to them saying that I wanted to review their figure and they sent me these two Bruce Lee figures so that's awesome and everything and I, I really appreciate it so I hope that I don't come off as like disrespectful in this um review but you know if it's no good it's no good but what i was gonna say is maybe the two that i got were like rejects or something and that's why they they were able to send them to me as uh for review samples which you know is dangerous obviously it's not like i have a million followers or anything but the couple people that do watch my video are gonna see these things and be like you know, i'm not gonna buy them they, they have <laughs> bad paint imperfections on the face what kind of that's crazy so you know who knows who knows what the situation is but all i know is that both of mine had some really um unacceptable paint imperfections in the face but anyway enough crying for now let's go ahead and take a close look at this figure okay so starting off with the head here as you could see it's not a very accurate looking bruce lee it kind of looks like a 1997 happy meal toy version of bruce lee so that's kind of weird it looks like as if like they were going for bruce lee but didn't quite have the technology to give us an accurate version of it but you know that's not the case we know that um toy companies are completely capable of giving us really good face sculpts but in this case it just didn't happen it seems like maybe they didn't use all the resources that they had available or something but it just doesn't look that good man and it's it sucks but check out that paint spot on the nose that shit is crazy but anyways taking a look at the hair here i'm trying to find an angle where this face looks like actual bruce lee 
can't really can't really do it, man. That's crazy. But anyways, moving on here. I do like the body sculpt. I think the muscles do look good. But the paintwork on here isn't very good. Check out the slop right there on his chest. But the actual sculpting of the muscles is very well done. I'll say that for sure. And then we have these uh, very deceptive joints here on the shoulder. They kind of look like they're butterfly joints, but they aren't. And let's take a look here. We have some like paint chipping in the joints and stuff. But, you know, that's not too horrible. That's bound to happen. Got some more over here. The skin tone looks okay on the arms. But then on other parts of the body, it's a lot more shiny. Especially on the face, which, I don't know, man. Looks weird. Doesn't look very realistic. It looks very toy-like. Obviously, it's a toy. I get it. But, you know, based on other things that we've seen out there, um, you know, they're capable of doing a lot better than they did here as far as the skin goes. But, uh, yeah, I will say again, I do think that the sculpting work on the chest here is very well done. The muscles do look really, really good. Some of the paintwork could have been a little bit better, but it's not too bad other than that, you know, smudge right there. And then down into the pants, they are... Uh, like black with like a blue wash or like a blue shade to them. They look pretty cool. I like the color of the pants. And the, the creases there towards the bottom look good. The shoes look okay. These big ankle joints are kind of weird, but you know, they're not too bad. And that's pretty much it for the details and stuff. Yeah, some of the skin looks pretty good. Like right here, this looks like actual skin, so that's cool. Yeah, some of it looks pretty good, but the main part where it counts does not look very good. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. And as far as the accessories go, he actually comes with a lot of really good stuff. Multiple hands, weapons, all that good stuff. But it's a little bittersweet because he's not really able to hold on to his weapons because his weapon gripping hands are just too wide open. And his things just don't fit in there. Check this out. Whoop. Goes right through, man. What the hell? What kind of shit is that? That is just crazy that they would allow this to happen. <laughs> Especially since I believe this was the case on the first one. Which, again, you know, you could chalk it up to an, a, mis a mistake or, you know, them having to learn something or whatever. I get it. But, you know, on the second one, come on. Like, this should not have happened. This hand is a little better. You could balance it in there. But, again, once you try to move it, it's going to come right. It's going to fall right out. So you could probably, uh, I don't know, man, that's just so, so dumb. So <laughs> I don't even know another word to use for it. That's just so, I guess lazy is a better word. Like, why wouldn't they fix that? They had to know that that was a problem with the first release. You would think that they'd fix it, but they did not. So that's very unfortunate. And aside from those gripping hands, quote unquote, uh, he also comes with a set of fists. And then he comes with a set of even looser open hands. And then he has another set of open hands, and these are pretty cool. You could definitely use them when you're putting him in martial arts type of poses. And then he does come with two different head sculpts, and we've already seen this one here, but just to take a quick look again, as I said, it's not very good, and he does have paint missing on the nose, which really sucks. And as bad as that head sculpt is, it's nowhere near as bad as this. This is a monstrosity. I'm not sure what happened here, but this did not come out very good. First off, there's QEC issues here. A lot of the paint doesn't really match up on the hair. And then there's a bunch of skin tone color in the black of the hair. So that's pretty stupid. And I tried to wipe it off. It's not coming off. So that sucks. Oh, man, look at that. But aside from that, this face just doesn't look like Bruce Lee. Check out the eyebrows. The paint from the eyebrows doesn't match the sculpt of the eyebrows. And it just it's just bad. All around bad. And, you know, thinking of this old head sculpt... I mean, this original head sculpt, I kind of feel like, I don't know, maybe a repaint could possibly save that. I don't know. Who knows? But this thing right here, this is a lost cause. This is just an abomination. This is very, very disappointing. Okay, so since I don't want to waste a bunch of time trying to get these weapons to balance in Bruce's hands, we're going to have Mikey help us out here. So first off, Bruce Lee does come with a set of these clubs. And then he also comes with a bow staff type of weapon with a couple of different types of nunchucks. The first one here kind of looks like he's mid swing, but not really swinging it like with full force. And then this next set looks like it's actually being swung like really hard. You could see like this effect right here hanging off one side of the nunchucks. I think that's a pretty cool effect that they have going on here. And then last but not least, we have this really cool nunchuck effect where it kind of looks like the nunchucks are being swung like helicopter style. So I think that is super dope. And this is something that came with the previous Bruce Lee and it's very similar to the 
Thor hammer swinging effect that they put out with their Thor figure a few years ago. So I do like this a lot and it's very creative and original. So they definitely get props for this. And as you can see, there's pretty much no way that Bruce is going to be able to hold on to this unless you angle his arm in a really awkward way, maybe like, like an umbrella. Yeah, it's too heavy and it just doesn't fit into the hand hole. So once again, that's just a big, huge flaw that's really hard to um, ignore or forgive or to look past. That's just crazy. There we go. <laughs> that's probably as good as it's going to get for this thing here. And now for some quick size comparisons. Here's Bruce alongside the SH Figure Arts Game of Death Bruce Lee and the Diamond Select Game of Death Bruce Lee. And um, obviously the SH Figure Arts is much better than these two figures, but he's way more expensive. He's a different scale, so it's kind of hard to compare them. But as far as just you know a good action figure the sh figure arts one is really nice and it's a lot better than these two and then next up we have them alongside the NECA movie teenage mutant ninja turtles donatello and the diamond select far from home spider-man and it's crazy to think that the same company put out these two figures within a year of each other because i really like this spider-man i think that diamond select did a great job with it i love the articulation the sculpt just the overall look of it is really well done um, and then we have Bruce Lee here, which is like on the opposite side of that spectrum. So the point that I'm trying to make is that I know Diamond Select is capable of making quality action figures. So it just trips me out when they come out with something that feels as lazy as this Bruce Lee does. Um, but anyways, on with the size comparisons. And then now here we have Bruce alongside the McFarlane Toys Superman and the McFarlane Toys Sub-Zero. And then here we have him alongside the DC Collectibles Red Hood and the NECA DC vs. Dark Horse Green Lantern. And then next up, we have them alongside the Storm Collectibles Mike Tyson and the Marvel Legends Shang-Chi. And then for the final comparison, we have Bruce Lee alongside the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap and the Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. Okay, so now for the articulation on this guy. I do think that the articulation on Bruce is a little better than your standard uh, select figure, which is pretty cool. But, you know, they're not really known for their articulation. So I do appreciate that they were trying to do a little bit more here with Bruce than they have with other figures. That's definitely a plus. But there are some things on here that are pretty ridiculous because they're a little deceptive. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So first off, his head is on a little ball joint so it can go side to side. Can't really tilt too much. Uh, it could tilt a little bit, but not a crazy amount. You could look up only to about right there. You could look down to right there. And then for the torso, you have a mid torso cut and then a waist swivel. The waist swivel's really tight. It swivels right here beneath his belt, but it's very, very tight. And then the torso cut is pretty good actually. So it could go to the side to about right there. That way it could go back to about right there and it could crunch forward to about right there. So this torso joint is not bad at all, which is surprising because uh, typically on Marvel Select figures, they'll have a torso cut, but it'll only spin pretty much. And um, it doesn't really give that much movement. But in this case, they actually did a lot with it. So that's good. That's definitely a plus. And then now onto the shoulders. And that's where it kind of gets deceptive because it, it looks like there's butterfly joints but there's not it looks like they were trying to go for a mafex type of thing but it just didn't work out this isn't a surprise to me now because they already did the same exact thing on the previous bruce lee figure which you know you would think that they would try to execute it well this time around or just change it all together because you know if you don't have the butterfly type of um, joint in here then what's the point of having these extra cuts in the sculpt you might as well just have like a regular shoulder ball joint and eliminate these crazy uh unnecessary lines that do nothing for you so i wish they would have done that but they didn't so anyways his arms do go all the way around they are on a ball joint there's no kind of shoulder swivel maybe if you warm it up you could get a little bit out of it but not enough to do anything with so what does it matter and then you have the upper bicep swivel double jointed elbows you have a swivel at the wrist a hinge at the wrist and then for the legs, we have drop down hips, which are really awesome. So that's cool. I could appreciate the fact that they're trying something new in there. Once again, they did do that on the previous version, but I'm glad to see that that carried over here because that's very beneficial if you want to get them into some cool kicking uh, positions. So that's cool. Could definitely appreciate that. And you get a lot of good movement once you drop it down. And then you have the upper thigh swivel. Then you have single jointed knees which i guess they had to do because of the pants but even though they're single jointed knees you actually get some decent bend to them a little bit more than 90 so that's cool and then we have a swivel at the at the ankle a hinge but let's do this foot because this one's acting kind of funny a hinge here at the foot 
that could go up to about right there and then come all the way down and then he does have rocking ankles so you know the articulation isn't horrible on this guy actually i think that's probably one of the positives to this figure is that the articulation is pretty decent um i don't like the way they did the shoulders i think they should have just done away with trying to copy the mafex style and just did a typical uh ball joint shoulder or just went with straight on traditional uh butterfly joints i think that would have been awesome it worked for shang chi right but you know i'd say that the articulation on this guy is pretty decent you know i don't hate it at all there's definitely some other worse aspects to the figure okay so overall and i'm sure this is going to be a huge surprise to everybody watching this review but i do not like this figure in fact i am very disappointed in it and it really sucks because i was hoping that diamond select would take some of the criticisms that they got with the last bruce lee figure and maybe use that information to improve on this guy but they didn't it still has the same flaws that that figure had and that's ridiculous like why not learn and do better and maybe it was too late maybe this figure was already in production who knows i don't know how toys are made maybe they're like there just wasn't time but if that was the case then just cancel it i don't know do something they shouldn't have come out with this guy because there's some things about it that i feel are borderline disrespectful i think this alternate head is is some bullshit like this should not have come out this is a very poor representation of a legend and that sucks you know it's it's very disappointing and aside from the poor head sculpts i think it's ridiculous that he can't hold his weapon i will say that the accessories are cool i like the different nunchuck effects i think these are pretty awesome and i will find use for these i like the clubs i think they're cool i like the bow staff even too i think this bow staff is awesome maybe i'll use it as like a pointer or something who knows but you know, aside from the accessories, I will say that I think the sculpt on the body is pretty good too, and the articulation is decent. It's not the best thing ever, but it's pretty good, especially from a Diamond Select figure. There are a couple of flaws, like the, I think the shoulders are just stupid because they should have chose a path, you know? They should have given, given us butterfly joints or not, but here they did like something where they were trying to, or they wanted to make it seem like it had butterfly joints, but it doesn't, so... I'm not sure what they were going for there. Um, they were trying something that just didn't work, but it didn't work with the first Bruce Lee figure. So maybe they should have tried to change it here, but they didn't. And that's the thing that's really disappointing about this figure is that there's a lot of things here that, I mean, they could have prevented if they just learned from the last release, which they, they chose not to take any information from that last release and improve on this guy. And I think that's the biggest like injustice here because with the first figure, I mean, I, I, I don't hate it, but there's definitely a lot of flaws with it. And I was a little bit more forgiving on it because it was like, oh, you know, the first one, maybe they'll get better next time. But now they didn't. And it kind of makes me dislike that other figure a little bit more because now it's like, oh, this is as good as they're going to get with it. And that kind of sucks. But, um, you know, anyways, uh, I really hope that I didn't come across as like crazy disrespectful in this review because, as I said, I did get these as review samples. And I'm, I'm beyond grateful for that. I think that is awesome that they hooked me up with that. And I really do appreciate it. But at the same time... You know, I, I got to be honest, man, Th this figure, this figure sucks. And I hate to say that because I don't like to talk negative about toys. That's like one thing that you will know about my channel. If you follow me for any amount of time, you know that I like to enjoy toys. I'm usually very positive when it comes to action figures. I don't like to talk bad about them because they're for us to enjoy. But, you know, with this guy, I just got to be honest about it. And, um, you know, I feel like I have to be a little bit more honest because I, I got it as a review sample and I have to do my best to make sure that you guys understand the experience that I had with this figure so that, um, you know, you can make a informed decision as to whether or not you want to buy it. So hopefully I achieved that. And like I said, huge thank you to Diamond Select for giving me this figure, but you got to do better. That's all. That's all I want to say. But anyways, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. Thank you very much. Peace.